Extra. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys a very important skill, and that is how to copy or to clone your SD cards. Now, this has a lot of application. You can use it to simply back up your data. For example, you have a SD card that came with one of your handhelds, and you just want to store that data onto your hard drive and just keep it somewhere safe. You can also use this to clone your, your stock SD card and put it onto a more reputable SD card, something like a Samsung or a SanDisk SD card that you know is not gonna fail you. Another application is, let's say you spent a lot of time making a specific build and now you wanna share this build with somebody, maybe a friend or something, you wanna copy your SD card and make another SD card so you can give it to a friend. That's another application. So yeah, that's enough of an intro. Let's show you how to do it. Okay, so as always, we're gonna start with a little bit of preparation. What you'll need. Obviously, you're gonna need an SD card that you wanna clone. Then you're gonna need another SD card, preferably a branded SD card, something like I said before, Samsung or a SanDisk um, that you wanna copy to that's uh, brand new or maybe you used it and you formatted it. Uh, aside from that, you're also gonna need a micro SD card reader something like something like this. I will leave a link in the description if you don't have one for the one I use. This is a smart Q, uh, very good, cheap, affordable little uh, micro SD card reader. And then you'll also need a couple programs. Really, we only need Win32 Disk Imager and then also Mini Tool Partition Wizard. This is, I have asterisks here because you can run into an issue that you plug in your SD card into your PC and for some reason, Windows will not detect it. That means you, like, you need to assign a letter to it. And that's why I have asterisks there. But um, if you run into this issue, you will, you will need to use this program. And then I have one important note here. It says not all SD cards are created equal. Now I say that for a reason because like just because something says 64 gigabytes, it's not actually 64 gigabytes. Sometimes it's 59, sometimes it's 57, sometimes it's 58. So for example, if you create an image and it has like 58 gigs of data and you need to copy it to another SD card and the capacity is just a little bit too low, you may run into an error. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'll put something on screen of what the Win Win32 Disk Imager will say to you. In that case, you have an SD card that's not going to work, and that's why you want to use a reputable SD card because usually the SanDisk and Samsung they usually have the largest capacity available um, for you to use, and you won't you usually will not run into this issue. So in this example, I will be cloning the SD card that is in my RG Nano onto another same size SD card. So. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, we're gonna go to win32diskimager.org. I will leave a direct link in the description below for your convenience. And I want you to go in here. I want you to just scroll down. You're gonna go to this purple uh, download button. Be careful with all the other kind of ad related downloads buttons. You wanna click this purple one right here. When you click on it, it will say win32diskimager.11 install.exe. So you can double click that and install it, go through the prompts and all that. Okay, when you're done installing it, we're gonna go ahead and insert our SD card that we want to clone into the PC. Okay, I got a bunch of error messages, I'll just cancel. Remember, never press format disk here. Okay, so this is my RG Nano. As you can see, it's like fully loaded. It has a bunch of games and stuff in it. it has this cool little logo, whatever. So we're gonna close this. We're gonna open Win32 Disk Imager. Okay, and then in here, under image file, I want you to click on this folder. And now we're going to select where we want the, the image to be saved. In my case, I'm going to put it in what I call the vault. This is just my four terabyte hard drive that I use for everything. So I'm going to put it in here under clones. And then in here, you want to name it, right? So this is a RG Nano. You want to name it RG Nano. And then you want to put that IMG. And then you want to click open. And then you want to make sure you're on the correct SD card. So in this case, there's a bunch of them. So if you see here, nano is under e okay we don't want to put it under anything else now usually they're partitioned and they have like a bunch of other stuff like they have a e there's a there's another one but we don't have to worry about that uh all we have to do is select the right one so in my case i'm doing e and then all you have to do is press read and now just give it a second to do its thing to create the image i guess now would be a good time to do some shameless self-plugging so if you guys are not already subscribed and you enjoy this sort of content definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out on any future content okay guys so win32 disk imager is finally done reading our sd card and creating an image 
you can see this message on, on screen. It says complete, read successful. Just go ahead and press OK. Now, I don't want you to exit out. Now, I want you to go ahead and eject your SD card. I'm going to set this aside for a second. And now we want to insert our SD card that we want to clone. Now we want to change the SD card we're writing to. So in this case, it is D. If I go into my file explorer, you'll see this SD card is labeled D. So I'm in the correct one. You want to make sure you're on the correct one when you're going to do this right. And it's already going to have that image selected. So you don't have to select anything. Now what you're going to do is press right. And now it's going to say confirm overwrite. Writing to a physical disk can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Just press yes. It may take some time. But let this let Win32 Disk Imager do its thing. And when we're done, we should have a perfect copy of the first SD card. Okay. So when Win32 Disk Imager is done writing the image, you're going to see the same pop ups you've seen on the last one. You see these format error messages, just go ahead and cancel them. Okay, I'm going to close out of this. It's going to say write successful. You're going to press OK. And now you can exit out of Win32 Disk Imager. And now let's safely eject our SD card and see how we did. Okay, guys, so I have my RG Nano here. And I've gone ahead and labeled the original SD card, right? This is one. And this is the copy right over here. Okay, so now let me show you what the first one looks like. I'm just going to quickly turn it on so you guys can see what this looks like. As you can see. Bunch of cool stuff in here. Okay, and now we're going to power this down. And now we're going to check the copy. And just like that. We have a perfect copy of the first SD card. So yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to copy this SD card is because I have native fast forward. Like as you can see here, and that's not something that's easy to put on this device for, for whatever reason. So I made this, uh, this clone that way I can just give it to my friend. So yeah, guys, there you have it. That is how you clone your SD cards. As you can see a perfect one to one image of the first SD card. And now you don't have to go through all the work of flashing firmwares and copying files and all this file management stuff that's so boring. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want a guide on setting up your RG Nano. If you have one of these devices, I know there's not too much videos on it online. And it's something I've been hesitating to make because I know this device is not too popular. If you guys run into any issues, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. And yeah, that's it for me. This has been Javi. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.